Hey gamers, it's Emily, and I'm going to do an impromptu tour of my Stardew Valley farm. Um, I do use mods, as you can tell. Um, this one that makes my interface all pink and beautiful is called the Starry Sky Interface for Content Patcher. Um, it's supposed to be like Sailor Moon themed or something. Um, as I go along, I'm going to like talk about the mods that I use. I will probably put this on YouTube, so I'll probably put a list of them in the description or something. Uh, modding Stardew is super, super easy and honestly changed the game for me. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the farm that I'm going to show you is called Candlewick Farm. My farmer's name is Lotus, like the flower. Um, Candlewick Farm is an artesian goods farm, meaning that I challenge myself to um, exclusively sell like alcohol, wine, beer, mead, coffee, um, I sell jam, I sell pickles, honey, um, cheese, um, cloth, things like that. Um, so I don't really grow crops and then just sell the crops. Pretty much everything I grow gets made into something else. Um, so that was kind of a pain in the beginning, but um, this is the farm that I have like the most money on. So it's really paid off big time. Got a love on my two kids and my wife. If you haven't kissed your wife today, kiss your wife. Um, I kind of pay the least amount of attention to interior design, but as you can tell, I um, do use some furniture and wall and floor mods. Um, I'm kind of just going to go through like my daily chores and show you around my farm. Um, oh, so I do use a building mod like for recolors and stuff. Um, I believe it's called Allie's Overgrown Fairy Buildings. Um, for the purposes of this video, I don't think I'm going to get on my horse. Normally I'd hop on my Pegasus, her name is Posey, and uh, ride along the farm just to get things done faster, but um, I don't want to go too fast. So down here, I usually start and going through my crop fields, see if anything is ready for harvest, um, walk through of all of them because that's healthy, good for your cauliflower if you step on it. Um, so the only reason I'm able to structure my trellises this way is because of the Junimo hut, um, which costed like a million or something. I don't remember. But um, basically the little apple boys go in and they harvest all of my green beans for me. And then you just open up the hut and you can collect them. So that really helped out. Um, down here I just have some trees in my little well. Um, then I usually wrap around up here. So the center of my farm is entirely made up of fruit trees. Um, because it's an artesian goods farm, I need a lot of fruit to make wine and jam. And I did do my research and find out like what fruits and vegetables are the most profitable um, in the keg versus the preserved jar. It's pretty much almost always the keg, except for apricots, which are actually worth more money if you make them into jelly. Um, and then I'll go up here. I have um, pine trees, maple trees, and oak trees. I'll just collect anything that might be in here. Check out my cave. I got a spiceberry. I think that the fruit option is always better than the mushroom option, especially in the beginning when you're trying to do the bundles. Say hello to my cat. Um, you might notice that my furnaces and stuff look kind of weird. Um, that is a mod called... Uh, I want to say like primitive artesian goods or something, primitive tools, something like that. Um, I do also have um, a mod that turns all the grass into flowers. I think that's called Ali's flower something. Again, I'm just going to make a list in the description, but it's really cute. Um, and I do have a map recolor as well. And the fence and the lamp posts are mods. Um, I'll check out my greenhouse. I use um, half of my greenhouse to grow coffee beans and then the other half to grow ancient fruits. The ancient fruits I then turn into wine or jelly. Um, it's worth a ton of money. Definitely recommend. In one of my other games, my um, greenhouse is full of ancient fruits completely. And then I'll come up here where I keep all of the alcohols. 
So this shed I use to brew beer, coffee, um, basically anything that isn't wine. Um, it's springtime, so not all of the kegs are in use, but like when I've got hops, oh baby, those things be pumping. Now this shed is always full. You may be asking yourself, how do I do it when I completely stuffed the shed full of kegs and absolutely no space to walk? Well, I have a mod called Automate that basically puts everything um, in a train, kind of. So everything is connected to this chest, you can see here. Um, if I put something in the chest, like this fruit, it will automatically feed it into the kegs. And then if you connect another keg to that keg, that'll also be connected. It's all connected in a big line. Um, so basically, if I put fruit in the chest, it will automatically feed into the keg, and then when the wine is done, it feeds back into the chest, and then another piece of fruit will take the place of the empty keg. So honestly, guys, if I could only pick one mod to use for the rest of my life, it would be that one. It absolutely changed the game for me. It was incredible, and it allows for me to use, make the most out of my space. And my little animals are down here. I do use recolor mods for my animals that make them look super, super cute. Um, I like to leave some open space so that my pigs can dig up truffles. Um, I do have a mod that turns my void chickens purple. So I'll go in here, get out of the way. I'll go collect the eggs. I don't have to do a lot of stuff myself because of all of the mods I have, which is super nice. Because honestly, it would take me all day long. And then over here, I have the auto grabber. So again, the automate mod comes in handy here. So everything gets put into the auto grabber, which then gets put into this chest. And then the chest automatically feeds like the milk and stuff into the, the cheese press. Um, I'm going to throw some eggs in there. See how it just disappeared. Um, the truffles as well. Um, so all of that will get fed into the oil press and the mayonnaise maker. Um, and then I'll usually either collect that the next morning or at the end of the day. Um, down here, oop, it's honey time guys. Down here is where um, I have these obelisks. This one automatically takes me to the mountains. This one will take me to the beach. And this is where I keep my honey. Um, if it's wild honey, I'll throw it into the keg and make mead with it. If it's um, a flower honey, I'll just sell it as is. And at the end of the season, I collect the flowers and sell them. And in here is where the jam magic happens. So right now a lot of them are going um, because it's spring, um, I make pickles, um, I'm going to toss these apricots in here, this spice berry, this cherry, and this is nice because, you know, jam only takes like two or three days to make versus wine, which takes a full week. Um, some more grass over here, and I've got a nice path going around my little pond, and I just have like a couple of crab pots going in here with the bait maker. Um, automatically feeding into the chest which feeds into the crab pots so that I can um, get a little fishing money every day. Also sometimes it picks up trash um, which is really handy because then I can go throw it in the recycling machine and you know the recycling machine is so awesome because sometimes it makes cloth or stone or wood or other craftables. Um, but yeah I mean that's pretty much it. Um, Go over here, sell all my goods. I don't really need a lot of craftables anymore. Like normally I would keep the maple syrup, but I have all the bee houses that I'm ever gonna want, so I don't really need it. And then I will go toss the cheese in the cellar. I don't really use the cellar for wine much um, because it takes like three or four months to age and it really doesn't matter for me at this point financially. <laughs> But yeah, that's Candlewick Farm. Um, I really just wanted to do a little tour just to show off because I worked really hard on it. It is year four for me. It took a long time to get to this point and a lot of planning. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like my farm and 
I will put a list of mods in the description so you guys can know everything that I use to make this happen. Bye-bye.